All right, welcome back to Adobe Illustrator CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the, the brush tool, and um, which is the paintbrush tool, and the blob brush. So uh, it's basically the one that looks like a little paintbrush on here, and you'll see the blob brush underneath it if I mouse down by holding down the mouse here. And uh, paintbrush tool has a hotkey of B, and the blob brush has a hotkey of shift B. I'm going to click on the tear out bar here, and so it'll float out here. The brush tool, the first one, if I draw it out, I'm basically drawing um, individual strokes, which I can manipulate with the white arrow tool. You can see I can click on these individual anchor points and kind of manipulate the paths. And if I want to swap out the brush, because uh, this is a stroke, I can go to the brush palette here and choose one of these other brushes here in the menu. In fact, I can go to a whole library of different strokes and choose whatever I want. So um, there's like, for example, watercolor strokes that I can click on here and change it out. So lots of fun to be had with the brush tool. Um, you, can, you can do all kinds of cool things with it. Now, what is the deal with a blob brush? The blob brush is essentially a, um, it sounds like it's basically a blob. So um, if I basically paint here, I can change the stroke by adjusting the size by using the bracket key, so right bracket, and I can make it a bigger, a bigger sort of uh, brush size and paint away here. So that's what I'm doing. But uh, what's the difference between this and the regular brush? Well, the regular brush, the other thing I forgot to mention, I can change the brush attributes up here. So the stroke, I can change the, uh, the point size up here. I have to click on it to do that. So I can go from like 0 0.5 to point, you know, uh, 14 is going to look very different for that stroke. Go back to 0.1 here. Uh, but what's happening with this? If I click on this, notice that the fill and stroke options change and stroke is kind of zeroed out here. But if I click on one of these charcoal brushes, you'll see that the stroke is going on the outside. So what's happening here? Let's take a look with the white arrow. If I click on it with the white arrow, you'll see that the points are on the outside. Basically, this is a shape. This is not a stroke. So stroke, you have the path going through essentially the line, where a shape, you have it on the outside. So remember, if I draw out a regular shape here, like a rectangle, uh, and click on the charcoal, you can see it's affecting the same way as the blob brush here. So um, that's the base of the two, the two differences here is that the blob brush, basically, if I you know swap out any of these, it's going to be on the outside. It's not going to be on the inside. However, I can change the fill on the inside. So if I click on it and pick a different color, it's going to be updated in here in that blob. So just like I can click in here and pick a different color uh, for this shape. So uh, yeah, and then it basically, if I you know use the eraser tool, as long as nothing is selected here, if I click out, and then hit shift E, I can erase and you'll see that the shape is behaving like a, a I mean, the blob brush is behaving like a shape where it's being redirected and the strokes being redirected around. Where uh, with regular strokes, basically I end up cutting them as I erase across and break them apart. So um, yeah, that's uh, essentially the blob brush and the paintbrush tool in Adobe Illustrator CC. See you soon. Until next time. Cheers.